I love your hair. You wince at those words. They sound so much worse when she says them. Her grating laughter is all you can hear. She leans over you with pale blue eyes and a smile on her face, lips stretching across her pale mole defiled skin. You gag at the sight of her new teeth and the red puffy gums and the staples cruelly connecting the two together, if you can even call it that. Bile raises up your throat, but it can't escape, not with a damp washcloth in your mouth. In one swift motion, she takes a fistful of your blonde hair in her long fingers and tugs your head forward. Blood falls down her chin. It joins the rest on the floor, along with her old teeth. You cry as she raises the blooded scissors to your scalp. Another thing that should be mine. Ghosts aren't real. I know that some of you who follow my blog think that since I write horror stories, I believe in ghosts. Well, that's wrong. I may write these tales about dark things stalking moonlight, but I do not believe in ghosts. Let me make one thing clear. I do believe in the paranormal. Cryptids, demons, aliens and the like are more plausible than the remaining vestiges of the human soul being left behind after the body's death. It might sound hypocritical in some aspects, but it's the truth. Despite all the evidence, no one can convince me that ghosts exist. And the evidence? Well, it's fake. Don't take everything that the television shows or what people say at face value. It should be obvious to anyone who is a rational thinking adult that people lie. Photographs can be altered to show an image of a shadowy figure standing behind a curtain. Witnesses who have lived in haunted houses are either crazy, high on some crack, or just playing the crowd for attention. Even video isn't safe from being manipulated. I know that the thought of dying scares some people, and we believe in an afterlife to combat the soul-crushing certainty that nothing exists beyond this world, and I understand why. I don't care if you believe in spirits, but as for me, I have no reason to. Not one of my victims has ever come back to haunt me. The problem with time travel? Let's just get the main misconception out of the way. It isn't a risk of altering the past in negative ways. Time can't be changed by any means. What's done is done. When we finally discovered time travel technology, it wasn't the difficulty of finding a way to achieve time travel in the first place, either. Technology and our knowledge of reality had advanced to a point where we knew about the existence of the war. The barrier that separates all of the present, and all of the past, and all of the future from each other. So we used new laws of physics to develop the first time gate. And the health risks associated with sending a living organism back in time were only mere annoyances. Exposure to trans-dimensional radiation would cause numerous types of cancer in test subjects. Bone, liver, brain, breast. The time gate also emitted a plethora of sounds and images from all time periods when it was activated. Those present would experience mental breakdowns. Casualties set our research back a few years, but we soon learned enough to understand that only drones could be sent through. No. The problem was that no matter what we sent through the time gate, it never reached its intended destination. They were lost to the things that swim in the war. I'm also finding stray hairs all over the place. My apartment is covered in them. Some are in the usual places, on my pillow, on the bathroom counter, and in the drain of my shower. Others are in more weirder locations, like in my refrigerator and on the ceiling fan. A few even end up in my mouth. I can't help but feel unnerved when I come across them. I shouldn't feel uncomfortable when finding stray hairs in my living space. An explanation is in order. I'm a woman, one who has a full head of hair and likes to grow it out. My hair is thick and usually falls out on its own, so I should expect a few rogue strands. That being said, I shouldn't expect them to be short and black when I'm a redhead. <laughs>